Okay, guys. What's up, everybody? My name is Marvin Rattie. So today, I'll be giving you. I'm so sorry. On how to make a cracked Minecraft server. Now, this is for people who have a cracked launcher or have problems with it, and they um. And this is especially for both Windows and Mac, and I'm going to show you how to do it on both of them. So. First thing you want to do, you want to go to your internet browser. If you have Safari, then you can go on Safari. If you have Opera or Google Chrome, whatever, you want to go on Google Chrome. You want to go on Opera, Opera or whatever. And then, has it got a load or what? Oh. And you want to search up MC versions. I want to search up MC versions. And then you want to go to the first one. So then you have the, um, you have all of these. You got all these versions of it. You got a snapshot. You got a beta. And you got a stable released. So, um, any one of these, depending on which one you're using, you could use it. But I'm using 1.7.5. So, you want to click Surfer Jar. And it's going to download. But I already have it. But I already have it, so I don't need to download it. So you just want to minimize this. Then, what you want to do Hold on, let me clean it up. Bye. There you go. Then, after that, once it has downloaded, it should go straight to your downloads folder. But as you see, mine is not in here. And you're like, what? Where'd it go? Oh, he probably quit it. No. This is the next step. When it's in your downloads folder, you want to leave your folder open. Then, if you're, this is for when you're on a Mac, you want to right click and then click new folder and then just name it, oh, sorry. And then, they, um, name it. Server, I'm gonna name my server four since you see over here that I have server three. Server four. Okay. And then you wanna move it into here. And after that, when you move it into here, you wanna I am um, double click on the thing. I'm double click on the, um, your application. You don't need to delete it. I'm just deleting it because I already have it. Yeah. And I, um, once it's done. Once it's done, it should like give you everything, like all these different stuff in your folder, all these band players, options, whitelist, server properties, um, band IPs, uh, world, or something like that. So, everything's done. You got all your stuff. You got everything. Everything set up. Once it's done, then this. Then if you bought Minecraft, you don't need to do anything else. All you need to do is just go on Minecraft, put localhost, and then you got to join your server. But you still need to port forward your IP so people can join, or else nobody can join you. You're the only stupid person that can join the server, and you're just a lonely, sad person. So this is for. Um, now I'm gonna teach you for the crack version. I'm still gonna teach you how to port forward your IP, but I'm gonna teach you how to do it on a Mac. I'm not sure how you do it on Windows. So, this is what you do. You, th you see this? You see how everything, this is on a Mac. I'm not sure what it shows for Windows. But you see how everything here has a, oops. Everything here has a text where it says TXT, text. But except for server properties. So what you want to do, this is for Mac. What you want to do, you want to right click. And then where it says open with, you want to go to other. Oops, I click App Store. I didn't mean to do that. 
you want to go to open with and then other and you want to find you would want to find text static now me personally I already had it open with text edit so I mean like I'm fine I don't need a click clicking in and like and I end up breaking it so you want to just right click open with text edit then you'll see all these stuff here so what you want to find um, you want to find the online I passed it. Okay. So you want to find online. And you see how mine says false? Um, yours will say true. Where it says like this. Where it shows this. Yours will say true. So on online mode, delete that and change it to false. But if you're on a, um, a premium server... You don't need it. You don't need to change anything. So like you could be if you're on a premium If you got Minecraft and you bought it, then you don't need you don't need anything. You you could just like skip this part if you're on a Minecraft um premium. But this is for people who have a cracked client. So um you wanna um delete true. Not this true, I'm just showing you. You wanna delete true and this true and change it to false. And then when you're done with that, you want to exit out. Then you want to go over here. I'm about to have to leave soon, too. I'm so tired. Okay. Yeah. So here is your memory use, 46 MB, 16 feet, 14 feet, whatever. It'll go back and forth. And um, your average tick, it'll um, that's like, I guess, how much time it'll have. So, starting Minecraft version to start server with more RAM, blah, blah, blah. And then, a, um, then after that, Um, where it says 25565, keep that in mind. I'm not telling you anything right now. I'm, I'm going to tell you later, but keep that in mind. So then, now, if you look over here, it says server is running offline or in secure mode. The server will make no attempt to authenticate username. Beware. While this makes the game possible to play without internet access, it almost opens up ability for hackers to connect with any username they choose. To change this, set online mode to true in the server properties file. And then that's that's all you need to know. Now, one thing. Where I said hackers will be able to come in, that is only if you upload your server. That's only if you upload it that for people to go on. If you want to make it a private server for only your friends to go on, then you don't need to upload it. You could just stay, um, make it a private host and like not let anybody know about it because it's like a secret server that nobody else knows about, right? So it's not like anybody else needs to know about it. So you just want to exit that out. And then you can go on your Minecraft launcher and then put in um, local host. For you, it's local host. And I'm going to show you how to... And um, port forward. Now, um, I don't mind you guys seeing this because this is the name of my this is the name of my server. So if you guys want to join with me, then you guys can do that. So what you want to do, where it says this plus button, you want to click add. And remember where I said it had a um a two five five six five. Well, let's just minimize this for now. And then let's go back to our server dot properties. And then you want to find your server port. Mine says 25565, which is normal since I'm in the US. But if, you, if your thing says anything else, that, that's fine. 
that's fine. I, I don't know what it would mean, but I all I know is that it's fine. It doesn't mean that anything's wrong with the thing. This, having 25565 is just a normal thing. It doesn't mean you're lucky. It doesn't mean that you're special. It's just a normal thing that a port would have. So, I, um, yeah, if it says 25565 like that, then any number that it, that it shows where it said 25565, where mine, you want to go to port map. You want to go to add. And then you want to put 255, no, you don't want to put 255, okay, let me put this straight. If you have 25565, five, you put that. If you have 25585, five, or anything where it says that, or where it says, where it says a um, serve report, and it has the equal sign and next to it, whatever it says, put it in this one. And then you don't need to put anything in here because it'll just automatically appear on here. And then once you're done with that, you want to click add mapping and then, um, yeah. And yeah, so that's for your friends to join. And then the number where it says on top, all you have to do is just, um, tell them to put that in and then that's it. And, um, if you want, I can teach you how to, like, do it, tell them how to do it. I could put it in the description for you guys. And so now I'm going to show you how to do it on a um, Windows. And then you're going to be like, what? How, what? What are you talking about? How are we going to do it on Windows? It makes no sense. You're on a Mac. Okay, and now we're on my Windows computer. So. You want to do the same thing. You want to put M, C, versions. Alright, you know what, well, I mean, I guess this doesn't want to work, so I'm just gonna, gonna power it off. Well, I mean, I'm asking my friend Jonathan to show you guys, I'm gonna tell him how to do it on my accent to show you guys, because it seems like it won't work. But thank you guys for watching, and, um, and I'll see you all later. Peace.